You want ice cream Friday night? No problem. We can do that. You know, I mean, but there's some important things that go along there too. Hey, we got this issue. I think this is a player issue. This is a certain type of issue. I think it's better dealt with if we, if if you all handle it as players. You know, so for instance, like we had an instance where our locker room was a mess for the first few days of fall camp. I said, here's the deal, guys. Y'all handle this, and I told the leadership council, y'all handle it as far as making sure guys are cleaned up after themselves, or y'all stay late and y'all clean it up, or we're going to have to handle it as a team. Oh, yeah. Ever since I told them that, we've had zero issues. You know, you got your pregames talk to your team in your mind yet? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a real, I'm a real short pregame guy. I think if you're not ready to play by, by, uh, by the time kickoff's coming out, um, it, it's usually pretty short. It's, uh, hey, I love you, I appreciate you, and, and I mean that, and I tell them why I, I do both of those things, and and I just tell them, I, I tell them to have fun, I usually have one, whatever our theme for the week is, I usually say that, and I'll say, let's roll. Is that different from Troy, or no, it's the same. first time, I mean? No, it's the same. same. Yeah, it's the same. Um, as you get closer to games, I really speak. I speak less and less to them, and because they're they're ready to play pregame, you know what I mean. There, there's nothing, and if they're not, there's nothing I can say the minute we before we walk out. What's the decision making process, and what coaches are, are, are going to be with the box? What's the uh, coaches go or be go upstairs? Yeah, um, that's a really good question. So, I'll talk about it from a, just an offensive standpoint. How we do it is you always want eyes. At certain positions, you want eyes in the box and, and eyes on the field. Okay, so um, you have somebody that, whether it's a, you know, all the headset rules are changed now too. You got 23 headsets. It's got it's really kind of complicated. It takes a lot of planning how you're going to manage those headsets. But anyway, so you like let's take the offensive line for example, right? You want your old line coach on the field because you need to be able to make adjustments, all right, in between series. But he can't see the whole field. He usually can see about half of it on the, on the sideline that he's on. So he needs somebody's eyes in the box to see the other side and just look at it through the defense standpoint because the line coach on the field is looking at it from the offensive line standpoint, offensive standpoint. Does that make sense? So you try to do that, and that's what we do defensively as well. I've got a guy that um, will tell, like Coach Reagan will tell me down distance and hash every single time. Because as I'm thinking about what's the next play I'm going to call, I'm thinking, hey, we got left hash plays, you got right hash plays. Um, significant different call between third and two and third and five. Will you have permanent captains or will that be a weekly? Oh, we're going to do it weekly. Yeah, we'll, we'll do week to week. One more question? Okay, thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.